Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. I just wanted to pop on with a quick video because I've got a great new update that the team has added to the mood board software. So you now have the ability to just copy and paste images from anywhere online or from your computer and save them directly to your mood board design. So it's really gonna speed up your process when it comes to creating your mood boards. Um, it's gonna come in really handy as well whenever you're grabbing graphic elements or anything like that that you wanna add to your design board, but you don't, want, you don't really need to spend the time to add in any additional details and you don't wanna spend the time to you know, manually save that to your computer and then upload it into your Design Files account. So here's how this new functionality works. Let's say that I want to add an arrow that's gonna indicate that this is the fabric that I'm gonna use on this sofa. So I can just pop onto Google Images, I can search for an arrow, and if I find one that I like, I'm just gonna click on it, copy the image, pop back over to the mood board software, I'm gonna hit Control V uh, if you're on a Windows computer, or Command V if you're on a Mac, and then this little panel is gonna pop up. So it's just asking is if it's a product or an asset. In this case, it's an asset, and we'll just call this arrow, and boom, now I can add this directly to my design board, and it's much quicker and easier than having to manually save it to my computer and then upload it into my Design Files account. Now this can also come in really handy if you wanted to, let's say you want these paint swatches, but you want them to look like the actual paint swatch. So you could search for the paint uh, online, and then of course you can just grab these, so again, I'm gonna copy the image, pop back over to my mood board. In this case, I'm gonna say it's a product. And what I'd probably recommend is that you grab the product name so that you know if you do wanna pull this into a product list, you have that detail. So just add the product name, save it, and then again, there it is. So it's so much faster to just copy and paste images from anywhere. It would also come in really handy if you just wanted to test out, let's say five or six different coffee tables on a design board, and you don't wanna spend the time to use the browser clipper to grab all the information right out the gate. So if that's the case, you could just go to any website, copy the actual product that you want to include. You can come back to your mood board, hit Control V, again, Command V if you're on a, on a Mac, and then again, uh, select product, here, I would recommend that you just include at least one product detail, just in case you decide to move forward with this item. So you could either choose to grab the uh, product name and then just copy and paste that in or grab the product link, but at least grab something because if you choose to move forward with this, you don't wanna get stuck where you can't remember where you've grabbed it from. So then you can just save that item and then of course you can drag it out. And if this does end up being the coffee table that you choose to move forward with, you can always edit the price and details at a later date and you'll have the product name so you'll know where to look for this product. And then you can fill out this information if you choose to move forward with this one on your product and you need to include all those extra details. But it's just a nice way for you to be able to quickly test out images, to add graphic elements, and not have to spend the time to do the additional steps to save items to your computer and then upload them into your Design Files account, or to use the browser clipper if you don't wanna to have to collect all the product details. So give it a try, jump in, test it out on your next mood board design. We definitely had a lot of requests for this update and I'm excited to hear what you guys think. And as always, if you have any questions, just reach out to us on the live chat. We're happy to help.